His Excellency would like to ask if any of the residential school survivors would like to take this opportunity to be heard by His Holiness. My mother would like to speak in her language. Aileen Spears, Nisikasun, Nya Oste, Cree Nation. My name is Aileen Spears. I am from the Cree Nation in Manitoba, Canada. When things are too good, I'm just scared that things will be taken away. I want my children home where they should be. It's the law, Matthew. You would go to jail if you don't sign. Marie, congratulations on the series. Uh, the film was terrific. What was the uh, reasoning behind creating a series from it? Uh, well, originally it was supposed to be a four-part miniseries, and then it became a five-part miniseries. And then, to be honest, we were looking at ways to um, bridge the financing. It was suggested uh, that we look to creating a you know, a feature plus a five-part miniseries. So, yeah, we're really hoping that, you know, it has a wider audience uh, internationally and, uh, uh, you know, obviously in the States and Australia and New Zealand and, and places, you know, obviously places that connect to that story in some ways through their own histories or, you know, or, play, or places that are interested um, in, in different stories. The opening sequence, the black and white with the uh, settler fooling the Indigenous people, that was upsetting in the film. Somehow it is more upsetting now. And I'm wondering for this scene and in general, did you edit more tightly or something? It was very intense. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't think it was, uh, you know, carved too much differently. I think uh, when you look at the series, you'll see these openings uh, will have kind of reenactments of of our history, um, uh, you know, a point of view of that history. So it, maybe that's what it is. I mean, thematically, it's connected to what you're going to see in the episode. So maybe that's, it's hitting a little harder because <laughs> it's um, speaking to uh, what you're experiencing. Honestly, it floored me. And I had seen it, which is so strange. So yeah. well done. Um, has been has working on the series been or or the project in general, has it been difficult for you personally at all, aside from being a filmmaker? Um, I, I think it's um I think it is difficult because it's you know it's a hard history and it's uh mm -hmm. there's personal connections to it that that make it real uh in you know in big ways. But also uh, you know we've had conversations with other creatives that were involved in, in the making of it. And I, I feel, you know, for the most part relieved, you know, I feel that there was a, there was a great sense of relief about being able to tell the story um, and being able to tell it in this way, you know, that we, you know, passionately believed uh, we needed to. So Grace Dove is a wonderful vessel for you because she has this incredible presence and stalwartness, which I guess Alina had to adopt given the hand that she'd been dealt as a child. How did you know that she'd be able to do it? Um, I think, you know, obviously we're looking um, to, you know, to have, you know, to partner with someone that had um, those kind of, you know, like acting skills, just, you know, pure talent and pure uh, presence on screen and but also as you can imagine it also needed someone with a maturity and an ability to understand that you know it's 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 she plays a lean over I don't know four decades so it's it's a real a, a real challenge and a real challenge that she she lived up to you know and you can kind of feel it in her if you know her a little bit you can understand um, that kind of will and also um, this kind of immense um, what's the right word? You know, there's a curiosity to creative people, you know, not everybody has it, but there's people that are, you know, kind of driven to find out what's the core of this, you know, how can I make this work? How can I, I you know, uh, be excellent? And I think that's, you know, definitely who, you know, you want to collaborate with because it, it meant so much, you know, obviously, uh, to myself and everyone involved, but, you know, also to, I believe, Grace, you know, and, and other actors that joined us. It was a, a personal um, commitment uh, yes. to bring our skill to this story. Think of the education they will receive. It wasn't for the church. The residential school system would never exist. We have 324 students that will keep them in a state of malnutrition. And if you want to motivate the Indian, you must starve him. 
think naturally we're seeing a rise in sickness. Be careful. You're gonna see things you never forget. You gotta keep it inside you. You didn't think your master escape would go unpunished. I need your protection. You were an Indian. I don't owe you anything. You promised me that you won't look back. You are our tomorrow. We're sending you to Lemon, putting together a special operation. The Germans haven't been able to crack our codes in Cree. How did you keep your language? We've been training all our lives. There is no way that we are going to give up when we are threatened with cultural genocide. I looked up because of the series uh, Duncan Campbell Scott and from getting it from your script, it was just appalled and John A. McDonald. How is it that it's they have gone along without being outed for all these years? As we saw in the news in the last couple of years, like, you know, maybe maybe it's been three years, but it's certainly that there's been a turnaround and people relooking at that history and exactly, you know, what some of our leaders stood for. I guess, you know, we assume certain things and then and then once you go into history, once you actually read it and it's all there to be read. Um, not all, but, you know, it's there if somebody wants to read it. Um, it's kind of astounding, you know, that um, you can't make up these words, you know, you can't make up this kind of um, perspective and colonial um, aggression, really. I think our history is still fascinating, you know, whether it's, um, uh, you know, 100 years ago or yesterday, it's it's fascinating to relook at because I think it has built you know built our country like you know all countries are built from an idea and um for us to understand what that idea was when it came to indigenous people in this country you can kind of understand a lot of things you know as i was reading the history of plymouth the invasion by the pilgrims and the puritans and it, it just really rang a bell so that it was all over the world so accepted for so long and as you say it looks like people are taking a really good look now in the past several years, led probably by Canada. So that's something to be very proud of. And your series certainly um, adds to that. And I'm wondering, um, your body of work that you envision for the future, will you keep uh, making stories that uh, bring all of this to light? Um, I think I've always been uh, motivated by stories that, you know, hopefully could create change. Uh, and I, you know, and I, I think that's been a constant, uh, you know, whether it was, a, you know, in theater or film or documentary. So I, th I think that's something that gets me up, you know, pretty early in the day and motivates me uh, to to get at it. But, um, you know, certainly there's there's so many people, you know, doing all sorts of, you know, stories, all sorts of um uh, whether it be comedy or whether it be, you know, adventure or et cetera. And I, I think there's something kind of revolutionary about that also to be able to yeah. um, evade a genre um, with another perspective. So, you know, you never know. Well, congratulations, Marie. What a great series and what a what a wonderful thing to have in, in your resume. Just very helpful to a lot of people. Thank you. Thank so you much. very, very much. Thank you. What you taught them was an education in unrelenting cruelty. You are my heart.